Pike cleanup crews are at another Chipotle hit with norovirus. One person confirmed with the illness at the Bill Ricca location and other employees there are out sick. This is another bad day for the Mexican food chain, which has seen norovirus here and E. coli at some uh, outlets out west. WBZ's Julie Lonchek is live in Bill Ricca tonight with the story. Julie? David Paula, the good news, if there is any, no customers have fallen ill, but norovirus is highly contagious, and this just came to light today. By late Tuesday, cleanup crews had arrived with sanitation supplies in tow. Customer after customer arrived to find a familiar sign on the door. Disappointed they're closed again. The Chipotle in Billerica voluntarily closed earlier in the day after four employees called out sick. One of those employees tested positive for norovirus. Two others are suspected to have the virus. Cases among customers haven't been reported. The Board of Health was immediately notified and work began. I think the restaurant's doing everything possible to sanitize and bring everything back to a cleanliness state to reopen. But that might not happen until the end of the week at the earliest. And those infected employees won't be allowed back to work until they're symptom free for five days. They're a great company. We love them. We come here all the time, go to the one in Framingham all the time. I haven't had any problems with it, but I'm sure they're just looking out for us. At least the training's working, right? Yeah. Good. Last December, the Chipotle and Brighton's Cleveland Circle shut down for weeks after as many as 140 employees and customers contracted norovirus two months after an E. coli outbreak hit the Mexican chain restaurant nationwide. The restaurants may be getting sanitized, but public opinion is still tainted. They're done. I think they're excellent business, and I'm sorry this is happening to them. Health inspectors from the Board of Health arrive first thing on Wednesday. We're live in Bill Rick at Julie Lonchek, WBZ News.